good day, province of Davao de Oro. How are you, grade 9 learners? I am Teacher Shella of Attorney Orlando S. Rimando National High School. Together with Sir Noel Paran of Lorenzo S. Sarmiento Senior National High School, we are your teacher and heir in grade 9 science. Welcome to another fun learning episode in grade 9 science. Today's episode is about biodiversity and evolution. In this module, you will be guided with the following competency. Relate species extinction to the failure of population of organisms to adapt to abrupt changes in the environment. Specifically, you will learn to measure species richness and species evenness. Identify causes of extinction. Distinguish between behavioral adaptation and physical adaptation and make a personal vision for the future concerning biodiversity. Before we will go to our main topic, let us have first a recall. Remember class that the biosphere is the unique part of the planet Earth containing various zones of life. It is a place where all organisms live and interact with one another. The variety of life in an area leads to a richness of biodiversity and such richness results in a balanced ecosystem. This balance may be distributed due to the introduction of new species, the sudden death of some species, natural hazards, or man-made causes. This time, we will try to find how much you already know about biodiversity and the causes of species extinction. Just don't be afraid to fail the test. Be afraid not to try at all. So please, get now your paper and pen and let's start. Number one, if you were to take account of the biodiversity of species in your town, what would you be measuring? If you were to take account of the biodiversity of species in your town, what would you be measuring? Letter A, genetic diversity. Letter B, habitat diversity. Letter C, biodiversity. Letter D, species richness. The correct answer is letter D, species richness. Number two, which of the following factors most likely threaten the survival of the species? I will repeat, which of the following factors most likely threaten the survival of the species? Letter A. A common animal species are hunted. Letter B. A plant species is farmed as a crop. Letter C. Members of the endangered species reproduce. Letter D. A species has fewer and fewer offspring. Correct answer is letter D. A species has fewer and fewer offspring. Number 3. Biodiversity refers to black. Biodiversity refers to black. Letter A. Diversity of species. Letter B. Diversity of culture. Letter C. Diversity of genes. Letter D. Diversity of genes, species, and ecosystem. Correct answer is letter D. Diversity of genes species and ecosystem number four the development of cities and towns can have all of the following effects except the development of cities and town can have all of the following effects except letter a to produce pollutants that kill endangered species letter b to bring exotic species of plants to an area to take over and kill native species. Letter C, to fragment breeding areas and interfere with normal migration patterns. Letter D, all of the above. Correct answer is letter D, all of the above. Number 5. What is mass extinction? What is mass extinction? Letter A. The entire killing of multiple species. 
Letter B, the mass lost in the population of species. Letter C, the mass release of methane gas. Letter D, when animals become smarter than humans. Correct answer is letter A, the entire killing of multiple species. Very good learners! Now it's time to learn new things. So sit back and jot down notes as you listen. First, we will take up what is a biodiversity. Biodiversity refers to the variety of life in an area. It includes all organisms, species, and population. There are three levels of biodiversity. Genetic diversity, species diversity, and ecosystem diversity. Genetic diversity is all the different genes contained in all individual plants, animals, fungi, and microorganisms. Ecosystem diversity, it is all the different habitats, biological communities, and ecological processes as well as variation within individual ecosystems. Species diversity is all the differences within and between population of species as well as between different species. Species diversity has two qualities. One, species richness pertains to the number of species in a particular place. Number two, species evenness pertains to the extent to which individuals are distributed evenly among species. Now, imagine two ecological communities, each with five species and 50 individuals, as illustrated in Figure 1, page 4 in your module. In the first community or community A, 46 individuals belong to a single species and the remaining four species represented individually. In the second community or community B, all the species are equally abundant. Each, therefore, has 10 individuals. Let us answer the following guide questions. Number one, based on your observation, which community is more diverse? Based on your observation, which community is more diverse? Is it community A or community B? Very good, it is community B. At first, you might think that the two communities have the same species diversity because they have the same number of species. However, if you walk through both communities, the second would appear more diverse. How many species are in Community A and Community B? How many species are in Community A and Community B? Very good! Community A and B have the same number of species, but different relative abundance. Does species richness mean the same thing as species evenness? I repeat. Does species richness mean the same thing as species evenness? The answer is no. Ecologists refer to the total number of species in an area as species richness, while the relative abundance of species as species evenness. The topic is interesting, right, grade 9 learners? But before we will continue, we will have first a short break. When we return, we will discuss about the importance of biodiversity. The Rajo Z Spella program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply. Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply DB Construction and Supply Hanawai Builders Corporation Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station Master Construction and Supplies Mackenzie Builders gp and h Construction Incorporated Metro Gear Construction Corporation 
NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc. Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Welcome back to Science Night. Let us continue with our discussion. Why is biodiversity important? Biodiversity plays an important role in the way ecosystems function and in many services they provide. These services include nutrients, water cycling, regulation of climate, soil formation and retention, resistance against invasive species, pest and pollution control, and pollination of plants. For ecosystem services, it matters which species are abundant as well as how many species are present. Why species become extinct? Extinction and loss of biodiversity occur when species do not have adaptation that involve them to survive changes. Extinction may be caused by natural or man-made activities. Here are some example species and the reasons of their extinction. Woolly mammoth, extinct 10,000 years ago live and steep habitat of arctic tundra grassland which was cold windy and dusty reasons of extinction are climate change reducing the tundra habitat which result to decrease food supply human overhunting a meteorite impact and disease dinosaur became extinct around 65 million years ago lived in swamps and forests in North America. Reasons of extinction are climate change, reducing their habitat caused possibly by volcanic gases or a meteorite impact, and possibly disease. The dodo became extinct 1681. Lived on an island specifically in Mauritius. Reasons of extinction, non-native species are introduced to its habitat. Human also causes extinction. When humans kill organisms faster than they can reproduce, the number of members and their species decreases. Such species can become endangered. A species becomes endangered when only a small number of its members are living. If the number of members of a species continues to dwindle, the species becomes extinct. A species becomes extinct when no more of its members are living. Once a species is extinct, it will never again exist on our planet. Man-made causes of extinction Habitat destruction. This pertains to the conversion, fragmentation, and simplification of any potential habitats such as forest, coral reefs, and grassland. Habitats are being lost as human population size and resources consumption increase. Commercial hunting and harvesting. Commercial hunting and harvesting happens due to various socio-economic factors, man's greed for profit, and material things. Introduction of exotic or non-native species The introduction of exotic plant and animal species can upset the ecological balance in the given locality because the non-native species have no known predators, parasites, 
or competitors in the area that will keep the species population balanced. Pollution Pollution changes the composition of air, soil, and water. The toxic synthetic chemicals and heavy metals have huge impact on the species abundance and may lead to the extinction of species. Through to this process of extinction, several possible solutions have been proposed to slow the rate of extinction. First, the government restrict construction to allow both development and preservation of natural habitats. Second, projects are planned so that habitats are disturbed as little as possible. Have you ever wondered how animals are able to survive in the wild? Animals have certain adaptation that help them survive and thrive. What is adaptation? Adaptation is the process which enables organisms to adjust to their environment in order to ensure survival. There are two types of adaptation physical or structural adaptation, and behavioral adaptation. Physical or structural adaptations are body structures that allow an animal to find and consume food, defend itself, and to reproduce its species. Example, camouflage. The colors and patterns of organisms match the surroundings. This helps animals hide from predators. Another examples are bent hind legs and sharp teeth and claws. Behavioral adaptation. It is something an animal does or how it acts, usually in response to some type of external stimulus. Example, migration. Movement of population to and from a given area. Hibernation. It is a way for many creatures to survive cold, dark winter without having to seek for food or migrate to somewhere warmer. Instead, they turn down their metabolisms to save energy. Possums play dead to avoid predators. Over time, animals that are better adapted to their environment survive and breed. Animals that are not well adapted to the environment may not survive. These adaptations are the result of evolution. Evolution is a change in a species over a long period of time. I'm proud the way you work today, learners. This might be the good time to show what you have learned by doing the following activities. I knew you can do it. Let's have activity 1. Calculating Biodiversity Indices This activity is located page 9 in your module. Remember class that species richness is equal to the total number of different species in a community. On the other hand, species evenness or relative abundance is the number of individuals in a species over a total number of individuals in a community. Let's have this example. Community A in figure 9 in your modules has 4 different species of trees. So it's specified as species A, B, C, and D. Species richness in this community is equal to 4, while the relative abundances of species A, B, and C are equal to 4 over 16. 4 because each species has 4 individuals in the community, while 16 is the total number of all individual species in the community. Continue to solve problem like this at page 10 to 11 in your modules. Do also activity 2, Extinct Species Profile. In this activity, you have to research one extinct species record its background, habitat, interesting facts, and the cause of its extinction. Fill in the questionnaire provided in page 11. Continue doing activity 3 in page 12. 
Animal Adaptations. Do Activity A, B, and C. Do also Activity 4 in page 13, Imagination Adaptations. In this activity, imagine that you are living in the year 3000. Due to climate change, the Antarctic ice sheets have melted. The oceans have increased in temperature, and the sea level has risen about 13 feet. The underwater habitats are different and the animals have adapted to live in their new environment. After that, design your new marine species that would be adapted to live in the year 3000. Include its adaptation color, size, and specialized feature. Draw your species and include labels in your drawings. Do also activity 5 in page 14 entitled Save Me. In this activity, you have to create a fishbone diagram. Identify the major factors that contribute to the continuous decrease of biodiversity in the country. Now you have it! Congratulations learners! As your final activity, share your creative thoughts and ideas from what you have learned from the lessons. When we return, we will have a short recap and a short quiz. The Rajo Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arkikon's Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation. Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction. Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Welcome back, learners. Are you ready now for our assessment? Good, but before that, let's have first a short recap. We learned that biodiversity includes all organisms, species, and population in an area. It has three types, species diversity, genetic diversity, and ecosystem diversity. We also talk about the importance of biodiversity. Biodiversity is important to human health, marine life, agriculture, and industry. We also discuss causes of biodiversity loss. Such of these activities are habitat destruction, pollution, overhunting, introduction of invasive species. We also talk about ways on how to conserve biodiversity. Such of these are conservation and leasing, passing relevant laws, purchase sustainable products. Good! Remembering learners, let us now determine how much you have learned from the lessons and activities. Listen carefully and choose the letter of the best answer from the choices. Write your answer on your paper. Are you ready? Number 1. What level of biodiversity involves a variety of habitats and communities? What level of biodiversity involves a variety of habitats and communities? Letter A. Ecosystem diversity Letter B. Population diversity Letter C. Genetic diversity Letter D. Species diversity Number 2. Which of the following is not a cause for loss of biodiversity? 
which of the following is not a cause for loss of biodiversity? Letter A, destruction of habitat. Letter B, invasion by alien species. Letter C, keeping animals in zoological parks. Letter D, overexploitation of natural resources. Number 3. Reasons of preserving biodiversity includes the following except. Reasons of preserving biodiversity include the following except. Letter A. Isolating unique genetic material so it can be incorporated into existing crops. Letter B. Increasing the chances of discovering organisms with medicinal value. Letter C. Preventing natural evolution. And letter D. Finding new plants that can be supplement the world's food supply. Number 4. A place where an organism or group of organisms live and obtain food, air, water, shelter, space, or light needed to survive is called blank. A place where an organism or group of organisms live and obtain food, air, water, shelter, space, or light needed to survive is called blank. Letter A, a habitat. Letter B, a metamorphosis. Letter C, an adaptation. Letter D, a locomotion. Number 5. What groups of organisms are most in danger of extinction? What groups of organisms are most in danger of extinction? Letter A, those with small populations. Letter B, those that migrate or need special habitats. Letter C, those with large population that breed weakly. Letter D, both A and B. Are you done with our assessment? Great! That ends our lesson for today. We hope that you learned something from the discussion about biodiversity and evolution. Keep safe everyone! God bless! Rajas Escuela Executive Committee The School's Division Superintendent Yofemia T. Gamutin Seso 5 Assistant School's Division Superintendent Dr. Romel R. Handayan OIC Curriculum Implementation Division Chief Karina S. Frasco School Governance and Operations Division Chief Dr. Roben J. Riponte Members Cecilia Morales Dr. Hilda A. Opeña Dr. Arlene B. Lim, Dr. Eldicase B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medar T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Productions and Communications Lori Lee E. Quijano Given G. Hinampas Judy Land D. U. Donna D. D. Bolfer Mary Rose N. Resma Riven Manuel Irene Lea C. Manguhon and Bessie Aya N. Banyans Social Media and Packaging Team Christian and Hara L. Martesho William R. Ranara, John T. Escoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Estanyol, Richard H. Arellano, Lee L. S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo Gutierrez Jr., and Jade Karen Araiz.